Hello friends, Tony here. Uh, in the previous video we worked with the roles. We have make a card for roles and now let's do the same for permissions. So I'm going to open the VS code and let's navigate. Zoom it a little bit. So let's navigate in the app, HTTP controllers and I'm going to open the role controller first. Okay, and I'm going to copy what we have here and paste it in the permission controller. So copy what we have here, go to the permission and paste it. We need to make some changes, but it's almost the same. The first thing is going to return the view admin, not roles, but admin permissions index and we need to pass the permissions and also the permissions table. Okay, you need to import that up here. That's it for the index method. Then for the create method, let's import the split. Okay, import the input and from the form builder, not for the Submit. And then the action is going to be the route admin, not roles, but permissions. Okay, the name, we have only the name also on the permissions, and it's going to return the view admin permissions. Create the form. Okay, then for the store, I'm going to create uh, request also for that, but let's say here php artisan make request and the name is going to be create permission request and also let's create the update permission request Good. Now let's use that. So create permission request up here and not role but permission from the party model. Okay, so here use spotty permission models permission the create and then use import the plate for the DOS notification not role created but permission permission create okay return to the route admin permissions index good then for the edit we need to bind the permission here so remove the role and say permission dollar sign permission and the action is going to be admin permissions update passing the permission here the method is put we have the input for the name also we need to fill with the permission the fields and we are okay then return the view admin permissions edit then use the update permission request and also we need to pass here the permission model dollar sign permission and say permission update also say permission updated here and then return to the route admin permission index good the last one is the destroy so pass the permission model also here dollar sign permission and delete the permission 
and say display those notification with permission deleted. We are okay with the model. Now let's open the request and here first I'm going to go to create role request and copy this one and paste on the create permission request. Change the authorized to be true and here we have only the name on the permission so here I'm going to name is going to be required and you need the permissions table name then you can add more for example a minimum and maximum or what you like but I'm going to leave it like this then I'm going to go to the update role permission and also here I'm going to copy this one and paste it in the update permissions change the authorized to be true and then paste it all right here the name is going to be required we need to import the rule from the illuminate validation rules and unique to the permission from spatim not contracts okay so I remove that and say here permission from the models like this and ignore this permission okay save close 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 this one now let's see the resources views admin and go to the permissions first go to the create and remove everything here we are going to add for and pass in the dollar sign form here and also self close this one say new permission good let's save go to the edit the same thing save for the last sign form and self close this one and say edit permission save this one now the last thing is to work with the index also we need the table tables and i'm going to open the roles here because it's going to be almost the same and let's copy this and paste it on the permissions paste right here then let's do the same for the table here I'm going to copy and paste it on the permissions table right here put then let's start and import the allowed filter import the collection from the illuminate support collection okay let's import the query builder and not models role but we need to import the permission not contract again permission from the models permission okay where name and here I'm just going to say permission class like this and I think we are okay then go down yeah we are okay save now let's see also on the permissions index page and say not users index but permissions index here the table is for permissions and we need to add also the single permission here so select all of them and say permission and I think we are okay so just say delete the permission and new permission here 
and the route is going to be admin permissions create like this and i think we are okay now let's see on the browser what we have go to the permissions admin permissions create permissions okay go to the permission again and now let's create new permission give it a name so i'm going to say create user save and permission created here is the create user permission let's create new one edit user okay and one more let's say delete user good now let's navigate to the edit I'm going to remove everything here. Let's say, good. I'm going to say, edit user. We have this permission, save, and the name is already been taken. Now, if I refresh, let's say just up, save, and yeah, we have create user up, edit, and remove this one. Good. Let's search. So I'm going to say, create create okay and let's see now for the delete let's delete the delete user permission let's say no for now and let's say yes now okay so deleted everything okay we have a grad for permissions and that's it about this video i hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best friends and don't forget to subscribe and like to my channel all the best